CNN reached out to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection for a response. They sent this statement, quote, they have the authority to question individuals, make arrests, and take and consider evidence. So what's Anna Navarro thinking, our CNN political commentator? When you saw this, what did you think? I thought, well, you know, I pity the fool who, is, uh, who goes into a racist rant or who detains people for speaking Spanish if they ever dare come to uh, the 305 to Miami where I am. <laughs> God forbid they get lost in Hialeah. They'll never make <laughs> it out. They'll have a heart attack before they do. Um, look, it just, you know, it feels very ignorant. It really does feel very ignorant. Uh, unless you're speaking native Navajo or native Cherokee, I don't know why it should, you know, arouse suspicion, much less anger, rants of anger, to hear other languages spoken in the United States. We are a land of immigrants, and you can hear all sorts of languages spoken. Spanish, Russian, Yiddish, I mean, you name it, you hear it in the United States. It is part of what makes us a very wealthy country, what, what enriches our social fiber it is you know diversity makes us stronger not weaker and i i wonder to myself you know is this happening more now because of that's, all the rhetoric that we've been subject to that's what for the wondering. last uh, two years or is it that people uh don't leave home without their iphones and can take videos of these things that happen but it feels yeah. like uh you know since when did waiting while black or speaking Spanish become the type of uh, evidence that gets you detained and questioned and arrested. It just, it, it feels, you know, it feels wrong. It feels un-American. Yep. And the daughter, one of the, the woman's daughter actually saw the video and she questioned whether or not she should be speaking Spanish. This is what uh, the woman told her. She's like, um, we can't speak Spanish anymore. So I feel, I feel very sad. It's when I, I decide I, I'm going to, you know, to, to bring this to, to somebody else to, for help, the ACLU, because I told her, um, you need to be proud, Bondra. Um, you need to be proud because you speak Spanish and you speak in English. You, you are very smart. You speak two languages. And you need to be proud to speak Spanish. You need. How can you explain to a seven-year-old this? What would you tell her, seven-year-old? Mamita, siente orgullo por quien tú eres. Siente orgullo por tus raíces. Be proud of who right. you are. Be proud of your roots. Be proud of your heritage. I would tell her that it's not uh, her problem. It's the problem of the people that cannot tolerate difference. Look, we, we can't change who we are because somebody, some, some, somebody with, you know, who's an ignorant person, uh, an intolerant person, and threatened by people who look different or sound different or are different wants us to go away. No, that's not America. That's not what America is. And whether uh, people like it or not, whether elected leaders like it or not, whether the Border Patrol likes it or not, this is America, and this is a, as much our country as it is anybody else's country. This is a country of immigrants, and no matter how much some people try, you can't erase history. You can't erase what holds America together.